Hey, what's up everybody? It's Chris from Holy Eats, and today we're following up on the end of Series 1 with Chris Pratt. For Series 2, we're breaking down five of the Fresh Prince's films to see what God has to say. Will Smith is a heavyweight actor who starred in roles that will make you cry and some that will make you faint with laughter. Seriously, the man can do it all. To kick things off, we've got two minutes of movie magic done over two movies that you know and love. It's Hitch and A Winter's Tale. Oh, while I have your attention, if you like this video and you want to see more, like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hitch is a modern day romance comedy that brings together a star-studded cast. Will plays Alex Hitchens, a dating consultant who's been adequately coined the date doctor. Just as his title implies, he fixes people up with their dream girls, coaching them through all the common dating blunders that men often experience when chasing a woman. He's a know-it-all when it comes to love, and he does many a man a favor by remaining anonymous during the entire process. Now herein lies the clue about the love master. In what seems to be an introductory conversation with his main client in the film, Hitch refers to himself as Michelangelo, in reference to the one who painted the Sistine Chapel. Now what we hear is a metaphor for the painter, but what God's really saying is Michael the Archangel. Hitch explains that his job is to create opportunities, something that God has the authority to do. As it stands, it would seem that Will Smith is being set up to symbolize God, but what about his role in A Winter's Tale? In this somewhat of a love story, Will plays the devil himself. His role as Lucifer, though unadvertised to the public, is essential to the movie, even if it is an extraordinarily different role for the prince. As the leader of all demons, he acts as judge and overseer over their actions. When asked why they chose Will Smith for the role, they said because he was charming. And that he is. Smith's uplifting demeanor and good looks might seem like the opposite of what the devil is, but the reality of the situation is that the devil is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Besides the fact that he lives in a sewer-like dungeon, there are very few clues that he is the evil one. He shows his true colors one time in the film, and it's freaky to say the least. His monstrous appearance makes it clear that he's the devil. Strange though it is, the combination of the two roles represent God's ability to save and destroy, as written in James 4.12. You might even say that God is bipolar. Well, that's all I have for this one. It's just a taste of what's to come in the series, so make sure you check in next week to see what's new. As always, I'll be back soon with more Holy Eats, but until next time, keep Christ first.